this oil seed press is a Chinese built model 6YL100. The throughput is between four and five tons in a 24 hour period. We press soybeans, canola, and we have also pressed a small amount of sunflower seeds. The press does a really nice job for us on a small scale. I'm not an expert on these presses, but I've run one for a few years. And I thought I'd put together a little information on, on how to operate it. Your results may vary. This is a screw and press rings that fit into the oilseed press. This is the main uh, tapered roller bearing on the hub. The hub slides forward. And in the back, there's a ball bearing, a ball thrust bearing that fits here. This is just to take the pressure off when you remove the, the press screw. The main force is on the big roller bearing. This is a small bar set up where the oil first comes out. Then the oil comes through these press rings later on. You can see the, the small little grooves in the rings. That's the oil comes out of those grooves. And this is the main nut that tightens all this together in the press. When this is in the press, this taper here fits inside of this nut. And that's the adjustment you make by turning the large handles. This moves in and out inside this tapered surface and that regulates the, the pressure on the press cake. This is the press frame with all the rings and the screw removed. The hollow drive shaft. The press partially assembled, the bar cage installed, the rings installed, this large nut will tighten down and compress all this stuff together. The cage will fit on top of this, this stack of rings. The cage is now on. This nut here gets tightened as tight as you can possibly make it without breaking something. The screw then gets inserted down through the press and threaded into the fitting. The key on the shaft fits into the hollow drive shaft. Turn the press screw in all the way till it gets snug, then back it out three full turns. Then run the locking collar in and snug it down. Something I've added is a little chipper on the press shaft to keep the cake broken up as it comes out, particularly with soy cake, it comes out in pretty big sheets and sometimes will kind of build up. This little chipper rotates and just keeps it broken up. On startup, just put a small amount of seed in, let it go through the press and add a little more. And as the press warms up, you can add a lot more seed until you can just fill the hopper up and allow it to run. After a few minutes, you can take the bar and start to tighten the press down. started and dialed in, it really starts to pop and spit. After the press is warmed up, you can tighten the screw down and get a very thin press cage.
installed an amp meter to get an idea of how hard the, the motor is working to turn the press. We're running a 10 horsepower single phase motor. With canola, you can see it doesn't work as hard as it could. With soybeans, it'll run about 38 to 40 amps. This is oil dripping out into the catch basin. Press cake dropping down into a conveyor system. The press cake comes up the little conveyor system and drops into this bin. In the back above the press you can see a preheater we typically use for soybeans. The seeds enter up at the top of the hopper on the preheater, flow down in the press, through the press and out into the press cake bin. That's the goal, oil. When the oil comes out, it looks a little dirty, but over a few days of settling, it will turn into a nice, nice golden oil.